Ayo, hey, baby girl, baby girl, now you guys are in the loop. Oh, man, if you missed yesterday's vlog, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Go check it out. Very, very, very exciting. Oh, my goodness. Just a little, little change up at the Demore household. Oh, my, my. All right, here's the deal. For things that we do every single day, tie your shoes. <laughs> brush your teeth, um, sleep. You know, for me, I do YouTube every day. I don't do Instagram every day, but I do YouTube every day. I run every day, but I do take breaks, but I run every day. So there's things, there's actions, there's decisive moments throughout the 24 hours that we all get to experience here on this beautiful earth that are more important than other actions, okay? I drink coffee every day, okay? And actually, I'm gonna lean into uh, your expertise down in the comments. Could I be achieving a little more health or a little more sharpness of the mind by purchasing better coffee, all right? So I know there's a lot of coffee experts out there, Unleashed, and actually let's do it. Question of the day, right from the top, everybody. What is, what is one action you do every single day that is important to you, okay? It could be big, it could be a critical thing, it could be little, it could be small. Maybe you write a song every day, no matter, maybe you write in a journal, maybe you uh, check the mail, maybe you write a letter, whoa, whoa. So that is the question of the day. But actually, uh, because we are, uh, because I drink coffee, I do, I drink coffee every day. So that's kind of a big deal. I think it, that's because it's something that I do every day. I don't do Instagram every day, so it's not as important to me. I do coffee every day, I do YouTube every day. Um, so la yesterday, I went out, and I bought just like some basically protein. Like, I like coffee a lot. I love black coffee. In fact, I would rather have black coffee over a latte any day of the week. But I also know the beauty of trying to take care of the legs as I continue to chase down dreams in the running world. And I'm just testing out different um, items that I can mix into my coffee. So I look forward to reading your comments down below. I think we're gonna go vanilla today. Oh yeah, creamy vanilla, that collagen. I've done a little research on collagen. I know there's collagen experts out there. Anyway, now I'm just rambling. Okay, let's, let's fire it up, fire it up. Let's get a spoon. You filming, Michael? You filming? Oh. Oh. Forgot the socks. Merino in silence. Thank you. Appreciate these socks. Nice pink bow, my love. <laughs> Sorry, it's so bright. Now before we zip out of here, I'm just wanting to peruse the merchandise, find some old shoes that connects to today's shoe topic. All right, let's see here. That might be one right there. And then see how far back we can go. Oh, I'm gonna grab this guy. Wait a minute, what do we have here? Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, 
I got what I found, what I was looking for. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, would I like a receipt? Uh, I think I'm okay. Great, have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. UPS store. Let's do this, everybody, all right? <laughs> we are downtown, it is beautiful out. There's a speaker right above me. I think you'll be able to hear me, but if you hear some background music, that is what is going down at the milk market. How you doing? Oh, man, comments rolling in from the baby reveal yesterday. Thank you for all the, all the love. Let's get you the comment of the day right now. Simon Hedman, there's so many. I, I went with Simon, I'm not crying. You are crying. Man, I followed Team Demore for the past four years. This is so amazing. Congrats to all of you. Love from Sweden. Thank you, Simon, for tuning in from Sweden. Okay, running shoe. They're actually on my feet right now. So I've been testing some shoes today in downtown Denver. And in case you follow along on Strava and you're a little concerned, and a lot of concern out there about my running roots, I have been doing YouTube for six years, so I know exactly every single street and alleyway to run up and down in downtown Denver to get the good shots, to get the interesting shots, to get the eye candy, as I like to call it. So that's why the squiggly lines are all over the place when I run in downtown Denver. Just wanted to clarify that. All right, here's the deal. I test running shoes, lots of running shoes, stability, neutral, road, trail, Hundreds, no, okay, not hundreds. Well over 100 a year, okay, per year, no doubt. And uh, 2022 is off to a good start. Uh, but as I've progressed through running shoe testing for the past, you know, three plus years now, I definitely understand the type of shoe that I prefer to run in, okay? So everything I'm about to share, keep in mind, it's gar it's um, it's meant for, you know, it's, it's my biomechanics, it's my foot strike, all right? So I just wanted to mention that at the top. And this running shoe lineup that is thus far my running shoe of the year in 2022, it has progressed in an incredible way. Now, one major point is that the shoes on my feet that are the running shoes like it's they're they are so lightweight however i forgot my scale in the car the scale that i weigh shoes with so i will try and get some b-roll back at the car and compare all these shoes that are in this bag because i'm putting them into a similar genre as to the shoe that i just love now 
One word to describe the shoe, smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth through the foot strike. Whether you're a heel striker or whether you're a forefoot striker, I will make the argument though that the shoes on my feet are like, I have transitioned from heel striking to forefoot striking over the past three years. And if you want to, I'm not saying you have to, if you want to work on your foot strike, your ankle strength, your um, hip flexors, and engaging your hip flexors and your glutes, but especially your hip flexors while you're running. So you're running more upright and um, you're driving your knee better. That's just how I, oh, it's like when I'm doing the forefoot striking, my knee drive is better and my hips are more underneath me rather than behind me. It's, all right, conversation for another day. But these shoes that are on my feet are promoting that type of foot strike. And leading into Rotterdam, I want to continue to work on that. In fact, the footage from Tampa, that I felt good about my running form, but I know that I, I can, well, first of all, when your legs are tired, it's easy to get lazy in your running form. So these shoes are not allowing me to do that. Lightweight, these shoes, incredibly breathable. They're going to be perfect for summer running, okay? And guess what? Pinching pennies, pinching pennies, cheap. As, not as dirt, but shit, affordable. I don't know what's going on. Now I'm probably building this shoe up too, too much. And you're probably gonna be like, eh, that shoe's not for me. I will say, this is not a plush shoe with respect to, it's not a Rebel. It's not a New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. It's not the bounce of a Nova Blast, but it's special. It's special. 6.6 .6 ounces for a neutral training shoe in my six point six or seven out that is unbelievable okay and maybe the durability won't be incredible we'll see um actually uh i was gonna do another comment of the day where somebody reported to me that this the 12th iteration of this shoe had to, they took it to 400 miles easily and it was still going okay all right you ready taking it off my foot Ugh. 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 okay here we go. One drum roll. Here we go. It is the Saucony Kinvara 13. Saucony Kinvara 13. This is not my full review. That'll publish very soon. I'm telling you, go buy this shoe right now down in the comments. I think it's available. I'll link to it down below in the description and in the comments. This shoe, I don't know what Saucony's doing. Okay, you ready? Here's the 11, here's the 12, okay? Saucony Convara 11, Saucony Convara 12, Saucony Convara 13. Boom, boom. This is why I keep running shoes, everybody. And again, I'll try and get B-roll of the weight of these shoes. I can tell you, I do believe we've lost some weight from 2021 to 2022. I've also, all right, I'm putting it into the same category as the Under Armour uh, Flow Velocity Wind. I actually really enjoyed this shoe. Kind of feels like a slipper under, under step. And again, promotes ankle strength and making sure your feet are strong, okay? This is not a shoe for someone who needs a little bit of stability through their running shoe. And last but not least, I'm even comparing it a little bit to the Puma uh, Deviate uh, Elite. Puma Deviate Elite from Puma, all right? It just has that similar kind of um, uh, slipper type feel that forces you to focus on your foot strike. You are in charge of the shoe. The shoe is not in charge of you. I love ya. Oh, did I mention the price? $115, $115. That's crazy. But again, it's not gonna be for everyone with respect to, and look at that outsole, just so perfect. Not too much rubber. Um, it's not going to be for everybody who might need a little more um, strength in that midsole with respect to, you know, over pronating or supinating. But if you have strong ankles, you want to work on your foot strike in 2022, boom, boom, boom. That's it, everybody. I already did the comment of the day, question of the day. Um, I'll also add a second question of the day. What has been your favorite running shoe of 2022 thus far? All right, we will toss it to the um, Saucony Convara 12, right about here. Saucony Convara 12, right about here. All right, seek beauty, work hard, 
and love each other. See you tomorrow.